right, if you want to catch more fish on crankbaits, I've got a tweak for you. It's my number one tweak, no matter what kind of crankbait you're running. That little bugger right there. VMC bladed hybrid treble. First, let's start this out with a little story. <laughs> Last weekend, I was out night trolling, shallow shad wraps and original floaters. I caught a couple fish, but I gave my buddy this specific bait. Number 11 original floater with a bladed hybrid treble in the middle. And he caught three fish to my zero. So I put on an original floater. Same color, same everything, same line back. And he proceeded to catch four more fish to my zero. So that's seven fish. And four of those came after I had the same back, same line back, same bait, same speed, identical everything. And that was the only difference. And now night bite, you wouldn't think that that little flash and flutter would make a difference, but it was a big full moon, clear night, and it had to have just been getting a little shimmy down there, and that's just that tiny little willow leaf blade. It doesn't affect the, the bait's action. It doesn't affect, you know, it running left or right. It doesn't change anything other than adding a little bit of flash. And boy, did I get my butt kicked until I finally put one on, and it's just the number one tweak that you can do to a crankbait, in my opinion, and it's as easy as it gets. Bust out a split ring pliers. You don't need one, but you'll save your fingernails if you do. All right, we're running original floaters with hybrid trebles and walleye league tonight. <laughs> Obviously it catches little ones and big ones. Let's see if we can get a couple more and fill out a limit. Yes, dude. I'll link the sizes or comment below in the description, the sizes that I use on all these different baits, but a couple of key things to keep in mind. When I first got these, I think it was last year and started playing with them, I was putting them on the back hook. It just made sense in my brain looking at the bait. You see some bass baits with a spinner on the back, whatnot. It was getting lots of short strikes. And the problem is fish were biting it where that blade is. So you don't want to put this thing in the back. You want to put it where you want them to hit it or where you have the most gap to so that you don't foul up. And uh, I've noticed that like, Wherever you put this bait, when you go to take the fish off, if it's on the back, they're always caught on that back hook. If it's on the middle, they got both hooks. So they're clearly targeting that bait where that blade is. And it's just a little focal point, that little shimmer. Have you ever been up in the shallow sand or at the public access and seen shiners kicking on their side? They got that little flash. You can see it out of the corner of your eye. Same thing in the water with these. It's a wild little tweak that will absolutely catch more fish for you. And it's not just for crankbaits, really. I've used it on ripping wraps, even through the ice. I think uh, this last winter on Upper Red Lake, I started playing with it. And it kind of looks like a little minnow head down there, a little flash, whatever. And it's just keep that bait moving, right? There's no scent, no taste, so you don't want them to get a good look at it. But uh, there's been times where it has drastically outfished whatever else is in the boat or on the ice. Jigging wraps. Uh, last fall, I played around with it quite a bit too. Uh, three trips, it outfished a regular number seven jig and wrap to one with a bladed hybrid treble, three to one. And as you can see, I've got a little underwater footage here of it. It just has that nice little flutter as that bait is darting off to the side and man, they smack it. So super easy tweak, swap that hook out, get a little more flash, a little flutter, stand out. I promise you it's gonna get more bites. It might be three to one, it might be seven to one. Worst case scenario, it's one to one. But in my experience, it has always outfished a non-bladed hybrid treble bait so far out of multiple, multiple numerous trips. So I'm a believer now. I started swapping it out on all sorts of things. Same thing, shatter apps, put it on that front hook. That's where you want them to hit the bait. You don't want them to target and hit back here. Husky jerks, doesn't matter what it is. I like that same thing, middle hook. That's the most gap between each hook. This one I think you would start to hit and uh, mess around with the action maybe. So I just look for wherever the widest gap is in the front, whether it's the very front or the middle. And uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's the deal. I don't want to use the word game changer because that's super cringy, but Man, anytime you can just get a few extra bites over your buddy, I'm all about it.